Don't you just love it when you are getting ready to post your latest blog post to Facebook and Facebook generates some sort of crazy thumbnail image that has nothing to do with what your blog post is about. Hi, this is Christy Burge from StudioRustica.com and today I'm going to share with you how to change that featured image thumbnail when posting to Facebook so that it's actually something that you would like it to be. We're going to start out, you're first going to need to create or find an image that is at least 200 pixels by 200 pixels. Next, you're going to add a plugin called WP Facebook Open Graph Protocol. I'll post the link um, in my blog post below this video. There are basically five steps. The first one is you're going to, once you've um, added this plugin, you're going to find your Facebook user account ID by going to this URL right here, graph.facebook.com slash your username. Now in order to find your username, you're just going to go to your personal Facebook profile and look up in the address bar for the URL. Um, it'll say facebook.com slash something. Um, oh, it might be your first name dot last name, it might be your first name dot initial dot last name. There could be a lot of combinations. You might have even some numbers in there. Whatever that is, you're going to put that as your username into this URL right here. It'll come up with a screen that's very basic, um, just a white screen with your first and last name. Your user account ID will be the very first thing you'll see and it's going to be a string of numbers like this. So that's the first thing you're going to need to enter. You can skip the second box. This third box is your default image URL to use. In order to add this, you're going to use the, you need to first add the, the image that you chose in step one of the 200 pixel by 200 pixel image. I would suggest going to the media uploader in your WordPress dashboard upload that image and you will find a URL listed. It'll look something like this. Copy that and paste it right here into this box. Um, you will probably want to use the, sorry, leave this box blank um, unless you only ever want your default image to show up. But if you have a regular blog and you always add a new image to your blog posts, I would leave this unchecked to begin with, and then that way it'll actually look for a default, it'll look for an image first before it falls back in your default, and then just click Save Changes. Fourth thing you do is you're just going to check your work, and you can do that by trying to post that same URL or blog post to Facebook. Congratulations, your thumbnail default image should now have been changed to feature whatever image you chose in, in the plugin, and you're all set. If you like this video, make sure to visit my website if you're not already there, and that is studiorustica.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.